Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Dan Permaculture. All right, you know, how you guys are doing? Or, you know, how is the summer treating you guys? I know a lot of us are still, you know, dealing with the, the pandemic and all that stuff, you know. But, all right, but in this video, <clears throat> you know, you remember I showed you guys my quote-unquote exotic, some exotic plants I have here from, you know, the Amazon region you know of the world you know one of those plants is is uh you know, plant shrub by the name of kakona and for the past month i noticed that it was lush and green and stuff like that and i'm noticing the plant is like dying and looking a little bit beat up you know so on further you know investigation you know you, know, you got to dig deep to see why I, I mean i tried you know watering it you know believing it was because of the heat of the summer here you know because you know in the amazon they these these a lot of these plants get a lot of shades and stuff in 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 florida here is like you know open air with beaming hot sun you know you know i know the amazon is tr tropical but it's still a lot of shaded area and a lot of you know a lot of big trees that shade the area so the the, it's, the heat is not like penetrating plants as much so i thought maybe that would have been the problem why the plants are dying back so i'm gonna walk you over here and I'll show you what it what it's looking like and let's see what what is the possibility might be causing the the you know this cocona shrub to be dying back all right let's go check that out Guys, this is one of the cocona plants here. If you notice the leaves, the leaves are being, you know, like there's something attacking the leaves. I know I saw a caterpillar, but it's, it just look extremely bad. Yeah, the the naranjilla is doing a lot better comparing to the cocona. Yeah. So my thing is, I think these plants need to be growing, but this is getting direct sun. Yeah, I think this need to be more in a shaded area. Yep. All right, so that's us look and yeah, I'm gonna see what's going on with this plant. All right, the plant's looking real bad. I thought it was from the sun, like it's the extreme heat. The extreme heat probably have something to contribute with it too at the same time. And this is my cocona. This was looking extremely good just a month ago and look at it today the leaves all beat up and it's looking extremely bad yeah and look as you touch a leaf it, it falls right off this is the cocona yeah so yeah i decided i'm gonna remove one of these from yeah, this area and put it in a well shaded area and see if it's the sun. I, I dug it up and this is what I found. So guys. This is another one. I just, I just dug up just to see what's going on. Let's look. Let's look at the roots. Nematoids. These are bad nematoids that are eating up the roots. That's actually killing the plant. Yep, the roots are all, uh, all messed up. Can't believe this. Look, I, I, I've been noticing that the, the plant is looking extremely bad. So, I guess that was not a good idea to put these in the ground. So I may end up losing you know, all these plants. Yeah. 
look at the, the knowledge of it. That root's not supposed to look like this, guys. This is nematoids in the, in the soil that infect the roots of the plant. Yep. Yeah guys, so I gotta definitely put these in container. I don't wanna add I doubt this is gonna be able to be saved. So right here is what you see I, I cut three of the cuttings off of that plant. You know just see if I could propagate some from that. I also put one of the plants in a container. Yeah, right here too. I dug them up and put them in a container. Hopefully they survive. If not, I just start off. That's just some of the failures you have in, in gardening. Yeah, it happens. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. For me, it's no big deal. I was really, really looking forward to actually taste this fruit. But it's all right. I, I I learn. Everything is learning and experiment. Learning experiments. You know, failures, successes. Yep. All right. So that yeah, guys. So after you know, I took one of those plants out of the ground. I have them planted in the ground. I had them in a container before. Put them in ground. You know, I noticed there's a lot of root knots. You know, on on the root. And that's causing from nematodes, you know. So there's a big nematode problem with the, the root system of that plant, you know. No, there's a lot of people on the channel that watch watch the video and probably have no idea what what nematodes are. Nematodes are like parasites that live in the soil, and the the, the larva from the larvae from the those parasites go into the roots and they develop could propagate from cuttings so what I might do to is make a few cuttings and stuck in the ground you know stuck propagate see if I could propagate more plants by that and try and keep them in containers since they're prone to nematodes alright mm -hmm.